Hey everybody, Last Outrider here with another video. This time we're going to talk about who are the Black Legion. This following up on my videos with who is Abaddon the Despoiler. First, a little caveat. There seems to be a confusion about how time passes in Warhammer 40k that I need to explain to people. So I'm going to explain it to people now. Time does not pass in Warhammer 40,000. Warhammer 40,000 has always, from the beginning, taken place on the 365th day of the 999th year of the 41st millennium. Hence the name Warhammer 40,000. Now, everything you read, all the novels, all the fluff, all the stories you encounter in all of the codexes, they all take place in the past. They're all history. There are certain events that are going on, taking place on this last day of the 41st millennium that have been taking place for the last 25 plus years. Uh, Abaddon's 13th Black Crusade is in the middle of happening. It has constantly been in the middle of happening. Uh, the assault on Cadia, the uh, plague bearers on the, on, on the ships in the warp, the attacks, everything that's going on, the, the, the Blackstone fortresses being captured by Abaddon. All of that is the past. This is the end of the Imperium. That's what the game has always been. Now, they've never actually crossed over into the next day of the 42nd millennium. But this is it. The Imperium is done. They've just never finalized what happens on that final day. So, with that in mind, I bring you what is the Black Legion. For 10,000 years, the Black Legion has fought the armies of the False Emperor, striking out from the Eye of Terror to sow ruin and madness amongst the stars. In their wake, worlds burn to ash and the screams of the damned echo in the warp. As the 41st millennium comes to a close and the Imperium approaches the end of its long decline, the Black Legion spill forth from the Eye of Terror, intent upon destruction. In the vanguard, their war master, Abaddon the Despoiler, carves a bloody trail across the void, each terrible victory taking him and his murderous army one step closer to ancient Terra, the heart of the Imperium. Theirs is an ancient war, sprung from the great betrayal that began when the arch-heretic Horus turned from the Emperor and embraced the power of the Dark Gods some ten thousand years previous. Only when the Emperor lies dead and broken at Abaddon's feet and the Imperium howls with the victory screams of a billion, billion demons will the Legion's thirst for vengeance finally be slacked. The Black Legion were formed by the Chaos Lord Abaddon, a pure expression of his hatred towards the Imperium and the Emperor of mankind. Most numerous of all the traitor legions, they were born from the ashes of the Horus heresy, the successors to the sons of Horus, who met their end before the gates of Terra. 
since those dark days. The Black Legion has grown in size and strength, incorporating countless traitor legionnaires and powerful chaos warlords, favored warriors of the dark gods. The Legion are doomed to the worlds and heralds of the end times. A legion of traitors. The Black Legion has a long and vile history in the service of chaos, responsible for 10,000 years of carnage and destruction. Under the domination of Abaddon the Despoiler, the Legion has risen to great and terrible heights, earning their place as one of the Imperium's bitterest foes. In the closing days of the Horus Heresies, the traitor legions retreated before the Loyalists, their war master dead and their dreams of conquest denied. Such was the appalling and lasting rift caused by Horus's betrayal, that there was no question of redemption, no chance of mending old wounds, and no return for those that had embraced the dark gods. With their former brothers in close pursuit, the traitors fled towards the corrupting embrace of chaos and into the eye of terror. Among these traitors were the fragmented survivors of the sons of Horus and their greatest surviving warlord, Ezekiel Abaddon. When many of the legions and their primarchs became irrevocably twisted and warped by their exposure to the chaos gods, Abaddon resisted such temptations, while other traitor legionnaires lost themselves in the madness and excess of the warp. Abaddon never forgot the defeat of Horus and the debt of vengeance he owed the emperor. It was this thirst for revenge that would sustain him over the long centuries and eventually motivate him to muster the traitor legions for war once more. In time, Abaddon would take the place of his fallen Primarch as war master of the Chaos Legions. For years uncounted, Abaddon wandered the tides of warp and the demon worlds of the Eye of Terror. Time meaningless in that other realm, embittered by failure of the Horus, he vowed not to retreat or repeat the War Master's mistakes, and sought out demon allies, gathered eldritch weapons, and prepared to crush the Imperium utterly. Even in these early times, while the Imperium slowly recovered from the terrible wounds left by the heresy, and other traitor legions struggled against each other for the worlds within the Eye of Terror, Abaddon planned his revenge. He forged unholy debts and infernal bargains, all in the cause of marshalling power for his war against the Imperium of Man. From Abaddon's burning need for revenge, the Black Legion was born. Abaddon, gathering together the surviving sons of Horus to dominate countless cursed stars within the Eye of Terror, unlike the other legions, Abaddon did not bow to an individual god or demon primarch and he held 
no restricting notions of code or obligation. Abaddon's focus was always the destruction of the Imperium and finishing the terrible work that Horus had begun. To this end, he allowed any warrior to join the Legion, provided they were willing to swear allegiance to him and him alone. The Black Legion he created were no longer merely the remnants of the sons of Horus, and counted amongst their ranks many powerful warlords and traitor space marines, dressed in distinctive black and brass armor. They committed vile deeds in the name of Abaddon, each one a strand in his bloody tapestry of death and destruction. In exchange for their loyalty, these traitor warlords received the favor of Abaddon and the growing strength of the Legion at their backs. More importantly still, those that marched in the ranks of the Black Legion were granted a place in their crusades and a share of the bloody glory they would bring. Abaddon's Black Crusades are the blight upon the Imperium, each one a deep wound across the stars where the Black Legion and its allies have wrought vast destruction. Whilst the Black Legion has spilled out from the Eye of Terror countless times since they were formed, the Black Crusades are times when the forces of chaos gather in strength. Thousands of power-armored traitors striking out deep into the sectors and systems of mankind. It is why Abaddon created the Black Legion. To fight these battles in the long war against the Emperor and his followers. Each Black Crusade has been a part of Abaddon's carefully laid plan. Each furthers his goals in some significant way. The culmination of Abaddon's grand scheme is nothing less than the death of the Emperor and humanity's enslavement at the hands of the entities of the war. Across ten millennia of strife, Abaddon has crafted his dark strategies. Each attack, each world destroyed, and each army vanquished is but a part of a much larger war. Always at his side is the Black Legion. On burning worlds and in shattered cities, their howling chainswords and barking bolters, fire heralding the end times. This is the shadow of humanity's downfall, cast by Horus's lost sons. It is the gravest threat the Imperium faces, and the very tolling of doom that echoes out from the Eye of Terror. Where the black armored warriors of the Legion tread, cities burn and imperial worlds fall. Star systems are purged and vanish from the void, their citizens slaughtered, their histories wiped away. To swear eternal loyalty to Abaddon, and become a traitor space marine in the Black Legion is to become a warrior of the end times and stand triumphant over the countless worlds awash in blood. And now, the catechism of the Black Legion. 
Who pledged his loyalty? The war master. Whom did we serve in faith? The war master. From whom did we take our name? The war master. Who was denied to us? The war master. But whom shall we remake? The war master. And who shall lead us to final victory? The war master. How's that? Next time, we shall deal with see Horace's last son until then bye <laughs>